Hi everyone, I'm Coach Ali and this is Assistant Coach Steph. Welcome to our Gains Home Dumbbell Workout Series designed to muscle you up and transform your body using only your dumbbells. Train along with us in the comfort of your own home and let's have you looking fabulous using simple, high value, low risk exercises suitable for all levels of fitness. For me personally, this series is particularly special because it marks 27 years of teaching strength and conditioning focusing on transforming bodies. I want you to forget about the junior level misleading advice that you've been inundated with on social media. For example, six repetition sets for size, 15 repetition sets for definition. This is completely false. It's misleading and it's ineffective. Follow our gains workout series to a T, exactly the way we teach it, and I'll personally guarantee your results. Today's gains home dumbbell workout will focus on your chest, your triceps, and your abs. In this series, your strength exercises will include three sets of 12 repetitions. Make sure that your dumbbells are heavy enough so that the last couple of repetitions in each set are difficult to finish. If you complete your sets with ease, then select heavier dumbbells to make your workout more effective. Be sure to train to every workout in our GAINS Dumbbell Workout Series in the order we release them so that your workouts are aesthetic and effective. If you're looking to get lean and shredded, then simply add 15 to 20 minutes of mild cardio to the end of today's workout. If you have any questions about the program, then simply comment below and ask us. Before we get started, I wanted to give a big shout out to our channel members whose contribution enables us to produce workouts for everybody on YouTube. If you're interested in becoming a channel member and progressing past the first 10 workouts in this series, then be sure to hit the blue join icon and let us take your body transformation to the next level. If you're new to the channel, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can stay accountable and on track. Now that's enough talking from us. Let's get started with our Gains Home Dumbbell Workout Series. Let's go. This is a dumbbell wide chest press. You can see it's a bilateral movement with the primary focus on your chest and the secondary focus on your triceps. As my arms are dropping down, you can see I'm creating a straight line from elbow to elbow and then pushing up and making sure that we have parallel arms at the top of the exercise. Slow control movement is what we're looking for. Make sure that your lower back is pinned against the floor the whole time to protect your back.
this exercise is a dumbbell neutral press and you can see that we're doing one side at a time. Your elbow is staying tucked in by your ribs and then it's a vertical drive all the way to the top of the exercise. Finish with two parallel lines as far as your arms are concerned. Make sure that your lower back is pinned against the floor and complete a set on one side before switching over and trying the other side. Remember to inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up.
this exercise is a wide, slow push-up. So you can see we're starting with that wide base with our elbows nice and wide, and then dropping into the push-up nice and deep, nice and slow, and then thrust your way all the way to the top. Now, I'm doing it on my toes, and you can see Steph's doing it on her knees, so make that distinction if you need to, and make sure that your tailbone remains tucked in in order to engage your abs and protect your back.
This exercise is a reverse dumbbell pullover. We're dropping soft straight arms by our side and then lifting until you've got two vertical parallel lines. Make sure that you've got your head and shoulder blades off the ground and this will assist by protecting your back and helping you get some good core engagement throughout this exercise. You'll feel this primarily in your chest but you'll feel it in your biceps and your triceps as well.
this is a supported triceps extension from that supine position. You can see one of our hands is holding the active bicep. And so this will prevent your elbow from moving while you do your triceps extension. Make sure that you're getting at least 90 degrees of rotation at the elbow with the head of the dumbbell getting close to your shoulder on the way down and then extending all the way up until you've got a straight arm. Keep your lower back pinned against the floor.
This is a dumbbell triceps kickback, and we're gonna do this one side at a time. You can see we're starting with a nice lengthy stance, and we're using our opposite elbow to support our upper body. At the start of this exercise, pull your elbow up so that it's by your rib, and then the upper part of the arm no longer moves throughout the entire exercise. It's purely a 90 degree rotation at the elbows until your arm's nice and extended. Let's try a set on the left side and a set on the right side as well.
This is a dumbbell weighted abs crunch. So you can see the dumbbell is resting on our chest and then we're squeezing up and hitting an abs crunch, making sure that our lower back doesn't leave the floor at all. This is a rolling motion and not a hinge. You can tuck your chin in on the way up and make sure that you drop your head and get a rest of your neck between repetitions. A little pause at the top will further engage your abs. This exercise is an abs rollover. Start with your head and shoulder blades lifted and your arms nice and vertical, and then bring your straight legs to the dumbbell by squeezing your abs and then return it until it's around 45 degrees in the opposite direction. Make sure your knees remain nice and straight as best as you can, and make sure you've got really good control both on the way in and the way out.
Well done for finishing your dumbbell workout at home and progressing through our GAINS home dumbbell workout series. If you enjoyed your workout with us, then please give us a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss the next workout in this series. If you're done working out, then you should move on to post-workout stretching and cool down with our physio Daphne. There's a link of her stretching playlist at the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. As always, thank you for training with Coach Ellie and I. We look forward to bringing you another Games Home Dumbbell Workout shortly. Take care of yourselves and each other.